Family, what's going on? Minister Bernard Marrow here, praying that all is well with you. Grateful once again for another beautiful, blessed Monday that God, the only true living God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, has truly blessed us to see. It's Monday, April the 15th, 2024. It's another beautiful, blessed day and new week that we are truly blessed, always being blessed to press forward in by faith. Let's get into it. Check it out. Family Monday motivational moment being about our father's business. Getting into part 16 of its time for demonstration. I want to share with you Luke chapter 2 verses 41 to 49 in the King James Version. The word of the Lord says, Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was 12 years old, They went up to Jerusalem after the custom of the feast. And when they had fulfilled the days, as they returned, the child Jesus tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. But they, supposing him to have been in the company, went a day's journey. And they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintance. And when they found him not, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. And it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors, both hearing them and asking them questions. And all that heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, son, Why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father and I have sought thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? And so family, Luke chapter 2 describes the birth of Jesus, the angel's announcement to the shepherds, and Jesus' dedication at the temple. Leading up to Jesus' birth, Joseph and Mary's journey to Bethlehem and the ceremonies of the law of Moses observed on behalf of Jesus. Jesus was 12 years old, already knowing he had a purpose, fully aware of what his assignment was, what he was sent to the earth to do. And because he knew, he committed, while also remaining respectful to his earthly parents, Mary and Joseph. Jesus didn't just come to the earth just to come to earth. Jesus didn't come to the earth just to live like everyone else. Jesus didn't come to the earth just to fit in. Jesus didn't come to the earth just to be normal. Jesus didn't come to the earth just to be ordinary. Jesus didn't come to the earth to be a part of the world systems. Jesus came to the earth to save us from our sins and to deliver us from the world system, to be about his father's business. And we are to have the same focus, being about our Heavenly Father's business. Family, for the full message and more revelation God revealed on these verses, I encourage you to check out Sunday Night Preview on the By Faith We Good Ministry Incorporated page on Facebook as well as on YouTube. I want to encourage you, family. Each of us have a purpose that God Himself has called us to fulfill living a lifestyle that is a reflection of being called by God. Listen, family, when it comes to what God has called and created us to do and how he's created us to live, it's important that we not just talk about it, but that we be about it. We've read and heard the word of God. God has provided clarity, confirmation, and revelation. Now it's time for demonstration. It's time to move by faith and do what God says. It's time to have a desire to want to be an example of what we learn about in God's word. Having a desire for God to lead and use you to do great and amazing things. Lifting up the name of Jesus for the world to be drawn closer to him. Family, it's time to be about our Heavenly Father's business. There should be a display of God in our lives. It's time for demonstration. God wants the greater he promised to be manifested in our lives and in the lives of those around us. God wants us to be about what he's created us to do. I'm encouraging you, family, to get in position 
stay in position, and own your position. Through Jesus Christ, we've been created to live an abundant life and to help others do the same. So press forward and move by faith. Y'all already know, by faith we good, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Keep your faith in motion. Let's get focused and be about our Heavenly Father's business. Enjoy this new week. I love you and I'm truly praying for you always. Let God have his way in your life. God bless your abundant family. I'm out.